Hello and welcome to Northgate High School. My name is Mr Darlow and I'm about to take you for a virtual tour of the school. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, any questions please post them and we'll get back to you as soon as we can do. Okay, so on your first day you will come up and uh, you'll come into the foyer and main reception and you'll be greeted by the heads of school. Thank you, Heads of School. So as we move through, uh, you'll be able to see reception and behind reception is Miss Chisnell. Hello. Hello there. Welcome to Northgate High School. My name is Mrs Chisnell and I'm your receptionist. There we go. So any problems or queries, you can go and ask and we'll get you sorted from there. We'll now move into the main hall. So this is where you would come for assemblies. Now, obviously with the COVID-19 restrictions, this might change a little bit, but we will have an assembly hall set out in here. The minute is set out as if it was a canteen at lunchtime, so you'll be able to see what it looks like on a lunchtime if you've gone to come and have your lunch in the canteen. There's the second section of the canteen, which has got uh, a cold section, which is on the left, and it's also got a hot section on the right. The menu changes uh, weekly uh, and the food is exceptionally good because I have hot dinners every day that I'm here. So it's well worth a look. Down this way is the PE department and you'll see that the PE department take a lot of trips out, specifically the ski trip. It's a very, very good trip if you can manage to get onto it. And along here on the left, you've got all the information regarding all the sports clubs and teams that they provide. So any information on fixtures and team selection will be down this corridor. Moving through, you've got the fitness room. Now the fitness room is usually used when you get into year 10 and 11 and you can uh, come and book this at lunchtime or an after school and the P department will be able to give you a full induction so you'll be able to do that. There's also lots of different clubs that P run. And there's a fitness one on Friday that Mr Llewellyn runs um, so you can work on your circuits and general cardiovascular fitness. This is the gym. Okay, and this will be one of the spaces for your indoor PE lessons. Uh, we do lots of uh, various different aspects of indoor PE. Uh, one of the more popular ones is trampolining. You'll also do some dance and some table tennis. This is the main sports hall. The lights will come on in a second, there we go. So again, the main sports hall. Again, lots of basketball, lots of indoor football, dodgeball, uh, volleyball, badminton that will go on in here. So we move through. We're now into the changing area of PE. So the boys changing rooms are these two here. And as we move down the corridor, you'll see the changing rooms for girls PE as well. So there's lots of information up throughout school on boards and clubs and expectations, kit, and all these kind of things that you'll be able to see as you move your way around and take note of. So we move out past girls PE. And as we look round to the left, you should see two things. Number one, you should see Mr. McDonald, and he's out with one of our goats at the minute. Uh, that's where uh, the ELF is as well. So the ELF is our external learning facility, uh, and that's where we've got lots of various different animals that you can use in lunchtime clubs and help look after. We've also got an allotment, outdoor classroom, and an amphitheater for drama and English. That block there is the music block. So that's where you'll go for your music lessons. And then we've got the tennis courts and netball courts and the astro pitch here. So as we move further through, you should be able to see out in front of us is the large expansive field that we've got. And obviously that's where a lot of your PE lessons will be. And if you're taking part in any of our sports teams, that's where you obviously go and play your home fixtures. Okay, so as we move further around, you'll be able to see a whole set of banks of lockers that we've got in school. Now every pupil gets a locker, um, they get given that to them on their first day and then we ask that you keep all your belongings safe and secure within that during the school day so you don't have loads of stuff that you're carrying about. Uh, the area in front of me is the key stage four eating area, so that's where year 10 and 11 spend a lot of their time at breaks and lunch times just during their social time. All the buildings and all the blocks you should be able to see has got a little blue sign above them so you should never really get lost. We're now about to enter the maths department, which is just through here. Okay, 
so this is the maths department. Hello. And this is Mrs. Smith. <laughs> Um, so you'll be exploring and developing numbers. And um, so one of the things I want you to look up is cube numbers and square numbers for me. So, yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. See you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so just moving through. So there's some more maths rooms upstairs and down the corridor, but we're now moving into the learning support department. Okay, so, and here's Mrs. Beasley. Hello, and welcome to the LSC. So, as Mr. Dollar has said, I'm Mrs. Beasley and I'm responsible for all of the support that we put in place for learners. And this is the area where an awful lot of it happens. So, if any of you need any additional support with literacy, with numeracy, or perhaps you want um, just somebody to talk to, this is the place to come to and this is where it all happens. Lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Beasley. So, there's a quick view of the LSC. Thank you very much. So as she said, there'll be lots of intervention work that goes on in there and maybe when you get to GCSE level, if you need a little bit more support and help, we'll also help you do that. We've got another outdoor eating area that I'm now moving through, which is opposite the RE and citizenship block, which is just there. Again, you should better see a bit more of the field. Uh, it is very large. And then we'll move up and then one of the more important rooms for the new year sixes is we will head over to where Miss Graves is, who is your head of year. Now she is an English teacher um, and she will be working in the room that we're about to enter and her office is directly above that. So we'll just go and see Mrs Graves now. Hello Mrs Graves. Hello Mr Darlow. And hello Year 6. Right, um, well I'm Mrs Graves, you know that already because hopefully you've seen me on the website and I just want to say how much I'm looking forward to meeting you all in September. Um, obviously we're putting new things on the website all the time so there'll be lots of new bits and bobs going on this week. You'll be able to do a virtual meeting with your new form tutor and there are some very exciting summer projects for you to be able to choose from. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say to you is I'm really enjoying reading all of your All About Me forms that you're sending back. So if you haven't sent yours back yet, please do. And we've got a really talented bunch of Year 6s coming up into Year 7, so we're all really looking forward to meeting you. Thank you, Mrs Graves. OK, thank you, Mr Darlow. OK, so we'll move through the rest of the English block and go through the drama and dance area. As Mrs Graves said, all the new Year 6s, you should be receiving an information pack um, either at the end of this week or the start of next week, which will have all the instructions that you need for your first day in September. It will also have all your summer project information and details, and it will explain to you that there will be a full virtual tour that you can then take yourselves through that should be up and running within the first week of the summer holidays. So it just means that you'll be able to get used to the layout of the site before you actually arrive. Okay, so we're now moving through the dance studio, which was, uh, it's got a specialised harlequin floor in it. So if anyone's interested in dance, we do a lot of drama productions as well. Um, they're very, very good. The last one that we did was Matilda, and that was outstandingly done by Mrs. Breeze, who works in the drama department. If anyone noticed the tape on the floor, we're now walking through the area where we do the face-to-face -face, uh, with the year 10s, um, and they've been coming in over the COVID lockdown procedures, and that's just why we've got the tape out at the minute. So we're now going to go into another English room, and this is Mrs Kaufman Ward. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to the English department. My name's Mrs Kaufman Ward, and I'm the head of English at Northgate. So I'm responsible for making sure that you have a brilliant experience in English at high school. Um, there are 10 of us in the English department, quite a big department, and we're all passionate about our subject. So in year seven, you will be studying a novel uh, at the start of the year, and you will be doing multicultural poetry. You'll be doing extracts from Victorian literature, and you'll be learning how to write and deliver fantastic persuasive speeches as well. Um, we're really looking forward to welcoming you, Year 6 into Year 7, and we hope that you have enjoyed your transition booklet from us as well. So over the summer, if, got one here, if you could work through this, we would love to see what you have done, and we will take this in in September. And then, as I said, we'll be starting 
Refugee Boy will be our first novel in the autumn term. Look forward to seeing you all. Thank you, Mrs. Kaufman Ward. Okay, so we'll head down the corridor. So this in front of us here as well, which is attached to the English block, is the Learning Hub. Uh, so the Learning Hub has got two parts to it. It's part classroom, part library. Um, and you can come in here for homework club at the end of school. Uh, it's open on a Monday and Friday till 4.30 and a Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday till 5.30. It's Mrs Lynn in the background who runs the uh, Learning Hub. But you can see we've got the books part of the library section. but We've also got the classroom area as well. It's also open at break and lunchtime. So if you just need a safe haven or a quiet space to come to, then that's obviously a very good and welcome place that you can come into. So we will carry on moving through. So the whole site is fairly easy to navigate. So you shouldn't need to be too worried about it. Um, it does look quite big, I suppose, and it's taken a little while to get round, but you'll soon find all the little shortcuts. So I'm just going on the main route round so it makes it very clear for everyone where you can and where you, where you sort of can't go so far. So hopefully you've all received the last information pack which gave you all your houses. So you'll know whether or not you are red, green, yellow or blue. Uh, and from that you'll have then obviously gone and hopefully got your uniform from Birds of Deera. If anyone hasn't received that information, if you could let the office know uh, when we can send that information out to you as a pack. Um, and then we'll make sure that you know what house you're in. So we're now going to move through the art and design rooms. So this is one of the art rooms. Any work that you can see up has been done by the children that we've had so far in school. So you'll see that a lot of classrooms are quite bare as well because we've had a bit of a, a clean up during lockdown and it's been able to uh, allow us to get everything all nice and ready for you guys when you start in September. So, and as I said, you'll all be receiving information in the next week or so, which tells you the exact details of what is gonna happen in terms of our first day back in September for each different year group. Okay. So that's the food technology room in front of us there. I'll show you through the window as we move round. Okay. So that's the food technology room. Okay. And we're now just gonna go across the road to the design and technology department. They work quite closely with the science department when it comes to STEM projects. Um, recently we competed in a uh, eco car competition whereby the kids built and designed their own eco car and then they raced it around Snetterton race circuit, which was a remarkable piece of uh, engineering and triumph. So the other thing that uh, STEM have just done recently is they won the national championships where they had to build, I think it was a boat or a submarine, and they went the, the winning team went up to Scotland, I think, to uh, compete in that. So this is one of the design technology rooms. We've got a CAD machine in here, we've got a 3D printer. There are two laser printers uh, on site. Okay. And like I said, if anyone's got any questions, if you put the questions in the question box, I will get back to you as soon as I can when this is finished. So this is the other art room. Okay. There are certain areas of school that unfortunately I haven't been able to take you to today on the tour just because we've had uh, year 10s and year 12s in for face-to-face -face time today and they're in the process of being deep cleaned. So as you can imagine, it's a, a little bit awkward, a little bit different, but um, we are doing what we can do and our best. So we're now going to head over here to the science department, but you should be able to see we've got the bike sheds there. So if you are interested in coming to school on your bike, there's plenty of places that you can store it safely. Just remember to bring a bike lock to make sure that it's all tied up nicely. So we're moving through here. This is the science block. So there's different rooms. There's rooms upstairs and downstairs, and this one here is Science One. And in here we should have Mr. Brett. Hi, sir. Hello. Mr. Brett, head of science. Um, welcome to science. Um, you'll have quite a bit of science in your curriculum, hopefully. We've got 11 sciences in total, but you'll have just one for year seven. We've got lots of exciting lessons planned. We'll be covering topics from the brain and how the brain works and helps us learn. 
we'll be looking at very small particles such as atoms, we'll be looking at space, so we've got lots of exciting things planned. We'd like to do as many practicals as possible, so lots of experiments. Um, one of my other roles within the school is looking at um, whole school progress, so I'll be keeping an eye on how well you're doing, but we're really looking forward to seeing you in September. Um, enjoy the summer holidays. Lovely, thank you very much Mr Brett. Okay, so we'll move through. We're nearly at the end of the tour, so I'm just about to show you everything that I possibly can do on this particular visit. But this is one of the science corridors that we're now going down to. There's quite a lot of head of year offices down here, but not Mrs Graves. Uh, it's the other heads of years that uh, have got their office down this particular corridor. So, as you come out here, just so you know, this is the geography department. So there's a geography classroom down the bottom there. There's a geography classroom on the end here, and there's also a geography classroom at the top of the stairs. Okay, there's the uniform poster for those of you that haven't managed to get your uniform yet, but standards, but I'd, I'd advise everyone to check the school website, especially the year six transition area, as it has got all the information that you need. If there's nothing, if there's a question there that can't be answered, please get in contact with us and then we will get back to you with an answer and stick it up on the website so everyone can see it. So, we're now into the final area. We'll just pop by and see the heads of school again. Come in. Hello, Dr. Hone. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed your tour so far. And Mrs. Galley. Hello. Welcome to the head's office. Have a look around. Hopefully, you'll be in here for lots of praise, and we'll call you in and say thank you for the amazing things you've done in your first half term. If you have a look up here, Mr. Darlow can scan round. You have four quotations from the people that we have chosen, well actually the pupils chose, to represent their houses. And you should all know which house you're in by now. Um, so you can see your colours up there and something to inspire you and get you thinking about what you want to do. Thank you very much. Bye, look forward Bye. to seeing you in September. Okay, so there's one final place that we need to visit on the tour. And that is just here on the right, and that is student services. And in student services, there is Mrs. Steer. Hello, Mrs. Steer. Hello, Mr. Darlow. So in terms of student services, this is where you would go if there are any problems or concerns that you've got when you're not in a lesson. So break, lunchtime, before or after school, you'd pop down to student services and either speak to Mrs. Steer or Mrs. Spinks, and they'd be able to sort out any problems or concerns that you have. And that brings us back round to the main foyer and reception and the end of our tour. If you have got any questions, please pop them in the comments box or make contact with the school via the office email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.